It's finally time to put my money where my mouth is and play this game on the hardest difficulty. We are here in Central America as well as a lot of the eastern side of North America. We're also playing with a bit of Venezuela and Colombia. So one of the things I noticed about playing on the hardest difficulty in Risk is that you really got to know the map really well. Because that's the thing about this game, every map requires you to play very differently. It's really all about the map. I'm probably going to fail this the first time, I'm just going to be honest. Where is a nice easy territory? Maybe the old northwest i mean that seems easier to get than louisiana but you are right there in the middle of everything and i think the ai is going to probably prioritize attacking the human player versus other people yeah so we're only getting three down here even though there are six tiles to get uh, because once you get this stuff you're really cut off uh, from jamaica you can attack into central america that sucks for some reason i have a very bad feeling starting off and trying to get something in north america it's just so chaotic over here i feel like this is a bad idea but I think a safe choice is to go into South America. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Fog of War is on, which means I cannot see what other units are doing unless I have, like, proximity to that province. Okay, so far so good. I am the last player to go each round, which kind of sucks. Alright, um, this is weird. Why? I don't want to say anything. Let's not jinx it. Let's not jinx it, please. Okay, maybe all the AIs are thinking that place, that area is totally not worth it. Let's not go over there. Oh, you know what? The AI probably doesn't know what I'm doing either. If I can't see that- oh, someone did just get that stuff. Alright, well, luckily there's really only two directions into South America, and that is through Panama or the Lesser Antilles. So either one that I get here is pretty good. Let's control the Panama Canal, even though the Panama Canal is probably on this map. This is like an old Old, old school map. I feel like this is a terrible idea because the AI is on hard difficulty They're gonna start to grab up a lot of this really valuable region And then I'm probably gonna like uncover the fog of war and have to face like this massive empire I'm just gonna keep on going up if they let me keep on grabbing stuff up Then that's fine with me. I really don't want anything else Maybe I'll get that but that probably in Honduras is is that's probably are gonna lose that now Central America would give us three extra units from South America, which is looking I don't want to jinx it But it's looking pretty good that we can get that if we can swipe up two whole regions in the very beginning that would be nice it's hard to even tell how much the caribbean have here how many provinces even is this uh, i don't really want to get any of this but i guess we'll go to mexico just gonna have to sacrifice this guy i guess that's gonna give us good vision kind of deeper into the continent i might have to also sacrifice the lesser antilles for a second here because i don't want to have to divide my 10 units into three different spots i'd rather just do it into two so costa rica and then um in angora stora i don't know how to say that we're gonna play this really simple five in costa rica and and then five right here. Wait a second. This is going to be bad. I just realized that because I'm the last person that's able to move, which means if they want to, red could completely obliterate me right now. They could just roll into all these. Okay, luckily they didn't reinforce. They only have a one stack, so I think it's, hopefully it's safe to say. We have to get really lucky to win here, honestly. That's what I noticed about playing on this harder difficulty. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. They are reinforcing a little bit into Texas. Now, the only other person we have to worry about is yellow. Or no, actually orange. Orange in Puerto Rico, if they want, they could put a big old stack right there and just move on through me. Yeah, I knew I was going to lose Honduras. What am I going to do? Got to watch the uh, Nicaraguans. Nice thing about the fog of war is that if the AI is not able to be seen by me, we're just going to pretty much skip over their turn. Please, please, Puerto Rico, chill. Well, luckily, you know what? Even if they don't chill, it's not a big deal. This was still overall good. Okay, they did chill because I had these these six units ready to go to defend South America if we needed. It is nice that they wait. What was that? Did you move back? Yeah, orange attacked back into Honduras. That's that's fine with me. Please leave this guy there. I mean, I don't really care if you take him out, but it'd be nice if they probably are gonna eat me. Oh, you didn't. Wow. It's just nice to have some vision before he ultimately comes to his death. Wait, wait, we get more units for starting six? Is that what that read? Is it even out like that? I wonder. Okay, number one goal is to probably go... Well, you know what? A little worried about Costa Rica. This is only a six stack. We should... Or sorry, a one stack versus a six. We'd be absolutely fine right there. Still don't want to lose units if you can help it. You gotta play smart. I think I want to go three and three just to be safe because once we lock this down, we're gonna be in a good spot. Don't want to jinx it. So we're gonna go in there. We're gonna get our one card. We only lost a unit. Not bad. I'm going to move all of them there for now and then reinforce the Lesser Antilles. Okay, okay. This is this is a really good start for hard difficulty. We got lucky. Let's hope I do not jinx it right there. Are you going to attack me or no? Okay, interesting. AI has been pretty neutral for me at the moment. Okay, the next biggest thing, if it wasn't obvious, we got to get Central America. We're probably not going to be able to get this this turn. We can also somewhat move up because remember, Jamaica can attack 
Nicaragua. So we don't, we want to be able to not have to reinforce this area while we move forward north. Okay, Orange is our biggest competitor right now. He's the only one we border and he didn't move anyone there. Let's see what happens after he attacks and he, and he fortifies. If there is only one unit next to us, if there's only one guys here, we're going to move up in both. Normally, I like to only take one tile in the very beginning, but if we can take more than that, that's what you want to do. I mean, you just have to take at least one so you get some cards. And so far, as you can see, the AI has taken one card each. They've, they've attacked one tile so far. Oh, so I only get bonus troops because of the first turn. So you get a standard three since I started six. That helped me out a lot last time. So now I'm still only getting six. Well, either way, we're going to do three and three because I want to move up in both areas. I'm going to move up here. We didn't even lose a single unit there. Okay, let's let's stop. This is this is interesting. We're still attacking only orange. I feel good going into Puerto Rico. Didn't lose any troops. That was really nice. There is still only one stacks around us. Okay, so from the Dominican Republic, there's the Bahamas we have to worry about. There's Cuba we have to worry about. This is a whole choke point. Oh, they can even come up from Massachusetts. This is ridiculous. I don't think I want that territory. Territory yet. Problem is, do I move from Nicaragua into Honduras? and potentially risk, we would risk a lot. We got two tiles in this one. I might chill, to be honest. I mean, what is the problem with chilling? I'm just trying to think. I don't see why it would be a bad thing. At the end of the day, we have a territory. We're getting more units than probably the AI, but I don't know what's going on behind the fog of war. I'm gonna guess we're getting more units than orange. I'm gonna play it safe here. We're playing on hard difficulty. I don't think we can afford to do something stupid. I might have been able to move into the Dominican Republic, but just, I would be attacked from so many different sides. I don't think it's worth it. And this is my weaker regiment. He's only nine. Okay, so I finally got kicked out of uh, northern Mexico. So we literally cannot see anything that's going on back here. We're gonna have to just keep an eye on how many cards each AI has. Starting the next round, things are gonna get scary because all of the AIs will have three cards. They'll potentially be able to get the uh, bonus for card bonus, whatever. And that is when they're gonna be doing some scary things. Let's see what orange does. Oh, they didn't reinforce anything here. What is going on? Let's see if green somehow comes out of the fog of war and takes over some of this stuff. I do not like that Jamaica can come up behind us like that. That is really giving me a lot of problems. We really also need to keep in mind, South America has only given us three units per turn. That's that's really not much. Not much compared to what, you know, the AI could be getting up here. Once again, we're gonna just go with three and three. So I think with 12 units, we move into the Dominican Republic. That is gonna be the riskiest spot so far, but I think I do that move first. So we lost one unit, but luckily we are still only surrounded by one stacks. Wow, that makes me feel way better. Again though, um, the next turn, and because I'm last, so if orange has a uh, card bonus, a matching bonus. It could stack like 12 up against us and completely push me out. That's what's making this really risky by moving up. We need a second division or third division. We have to, we need a third division like starting right now because I've got to hold down these two islands as well as however far we go up north. This really all depends on if orange has a matching bonus. If they do, we are screwed. Not right now, but if I press forward, I think I press forward here, but keep a majority still in Nicaragua. Let's do that. I think this is the right move, but I don't know for sure. We didn't lose a unit. That's good. Now that is really tempting. There is still only one. What is Orange doing? I think the right move is to do this, just to be honest. What if I back it up? Because remember, you could easily get 10 from a matching bonus. I'm going to go just three there. I don't know why. I just feel like three there would be better. What if I move up here? No, no, no. That'd be bad because he could. Yeah, no, no, no. You have to keep an eye. The AI also has Fog of War on. So maybe I could move to Jamaica without the 11 stack and he'd be like, oh, I can't see behind on Honduras. He might assume I'm not that dumb. I am that dumb. But I'm not going to be that dumb this time. I'm going to keep three there and 11 and 10. Let's see if orange gets a matching bonus. I also cannot forget about green here in Massachusetts. First of all, do I have a bonus? Um, I actually don't know. I do have a plus two by this because I have this region under my control. How many orange have we killed so far? I really wonder if uh, we could take out orange here. Where are all their units? That's what I want to know. They have to have something big over here. Okay, that's actually good. Green is now no longer a threat. Massachusetts is already pink now owns that. Oh, there you go. <gasps> of course it was orange. Where are they putting it at? Oh, ooh. so he did get a matching bonus. Was that only four though? I don't think that would have been a problem anyways. And he did, but he didn't put it in any of the proximity uh, provinces, islands, whatever. Guatemala is a country, but it, this it's really confusing. Okay, so they have a big stack somewhere, but I don't even know if it's that big. Well, I have to keep in mind, someone could easily just roll through all this stuff. I wonder if the fog of war is keeping the difficulty, the hard difficulty um, AI from just like, they don't know either. They're kind of scared as well. So maybe that's why they didn't stop me from getting South America. Ooh, so I have seven 
Why do I have seven? How did I get seven again? I should probably have read that. And oh my goodness. All right, so we're definitely locking this down. This is such a crucial turn. I don't want to mess this up. I think I need to keep most things in the Dominican Republic. Look at all the areas. This, what is the Caribbean? The Caribbean is such a mess. Florida would be the choke point. If I could get to Florida, I'd be really good. But we have to get to Guatemala. The safest bet is to probably just divide it into three instead of thinking about this too hard how'd i get oh yeah because i see how you get those that's how they i see the card bonus gives you three in the province how do you divide 17 by three you, you can't really i think six I think we want six if anyone gets more it should be this one right i actually might just go all in 11 right here I think this is the right move, but I don't I don't know. I don't even really know what I'm gonna do. I don't know why I did that. I didn't think too hard about that decision. I, I should have thought harder. Okay, well, well, we're definitely moving there. I think that's right. We move to Guatemala and we lock this down. Is there any point into moving more forward right there? I don't think so. Also, we will lock down the Caribbean with just two more areas. The problem is, oh yeah, pink is here and pink has four cards. They probably have a matching bonus. I don't want to be next to red, yellow, or pink right now. We want to be next to orange, probably. I don't think I want to destroy orange yet. I think we might stay right there, to be honest. And then reinforce. I think we stay there. I This is, I'm playing conservatively, but for some reason, I feel like this is the right idea. I want to be next to orange. Yeah, so red just traded in and they got six extra regiments. I'm just trying to lock down these two regions once we lock down the caribbean that's gonna be really good but we'll see if i was wrong about that playing so conservatively because there could be a huge power growing back there and there's really no way of me knowing okay so finally someone reinforced an area next to me where do i go from here we attack attack i move up to cuba we got to get up to florida somehow we got to lock off florida maybe the 16 boom and boom then jamaica boom 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 we have to keep some in the dominican republic because annoyingly why does massachusetts have access to the dominican that doesn't make any sense what you gonna do orange Okay, and we don't even border green, so that was interesting. Man, what is going about? What's going on back there? Y'all good? I can kind of see what's- I kind of see some weird things going on when I zoom in. I don't know if that's showing me anything. Did orange get a card last turn? I think so. Okay, so pink's pretty much guaranteed. All these cards with fives. Pink is guaranteed to get a bonus. So is yellow. I've got 11 per- turn here oh yeah there was no use for even having this open because we can't tell what's what's happening i think the move is uh boom gotta be careful of, of pink i don't even want to move the dominican republic i want to keep all 16 there and then maybe do cuba to the bahamas to florida and then yucatan to cheap bus Oh boy. Technically, I could move up, but do I really want to face all- I don't want to move- that, that'd be stupid. I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's just start by going to Cuba first, right? I think. Let's go to Cuba first. Didn't lose a single unit, and there's only one there, so now we just- we're gonna go to the Bahamas. Still didn't lose a unit, and now we lock it off in Florida. Still didn't lose a unit. All right, all right, good. Now you stay there. You are good. We've kept that safe. This is gonna be the suckiest battle right here in the Yucatan Peninsula, but we gotta do it. Ooh, I lost a lot there. Oh, but we killed yellow. Oh boy. Oh wow. I didn't know that. That's part of the craziness of the fog of war. Oh, I got really lucky. That was gonna hurt. I don't think I put all 10 right there though. I think I keep being careful and do uh yeah, like five there, two there, and then three there. Okay, that's about it. That's that's all we're gonna do. Okay, so even if there's a big old empire growing back there, I mean I'm not saying that we can fight it because one of those regions is giving five and Canada gives six. Red moved up. Did they move up? I don't know where they moved up from. Mexico would give us five though. So that would be a really good spot. Pink. Don't put them there, Pink. Don't put them in Massachusetts. I don't even want to worry about that part of the map. I think I'll keep you guys there, to be honest. I don't think I want to move Dominican Republic. We could get taken on by three different angles. We don't want that. I think all my focus needs to go in Mexico. But then again, yeah, because we will need less divisions going into Mexico than what I would need in every other region of the map. That five stack's not going to be fun in Veracruz, considering I only have a 15 here, but I might put them almost all. We locked down Mexico and we're gonna be really set. Okay, there's my bonus. Yeah, I think I focus on Mexico, but and maybe I will play a bit more aggressively than I thought. Yeah, every, everyone else goes there. Ooh, I didn't realize that the creek lands is technically touching Florida. Okay, you know what? I think I am gonna move forward here. Yeah, why not? I only lost one unit. What's back there? It's a lot of green. Okay, so we're gonna move up into the five first only last three units there and then i think i do that okay this is this is fine this is fine then i resupply with this guy i'm gonna put him right there okay i i think i can get mexico right now well i can get mexico it's just do i want to i think we should do it if i need reinforcements i can get them later can i kill red let's see if there's any more boom i didn't even know i killed red 
And that's perfect. I'll take your matching bonus. Yeah, probably put the rest there. Ooh, what is Orange got going on back here? The Orange looks like they got some stuff. I'm gonna move into Arcadia or whatever, Louisiana. Oh, Orange, what was going on? Whoa. I don't know if I like this. Hold on. Now I now I want to press forward a bit more just to make sure maybe into Tejas. Let's get Tejas. Playing a bit more aggressively. Whoa, Orange. Yeah, I'm moving. I'm moving double in. I need you to chill orange. Okay, I've got footholds in a lot of these regions, so it's really just uh, the Midwest and Canada that they could have a monopoly over. And then I have to move this guy there. Does orange have... Orange only has one card. That means they won't have a secret matching bonus. This can be quite a mess getting into this part of the map. I do not like this part of the map at all. I'm just gonna divide this up evenly and give everyone five and then just have everyone take at least one tile. This is how I can make a mistake so easily, because if I don't make sure my borders are nice and locked down, then we're gonna be in trouble. There's an Eight stack that I do not like. I did not realize that was an eight stack. It always reinforced from Massachusetts. That's a 20, that's 29 right there. There's also five here, 17, 22. I'm gonna tick on this eight stack with the 29 from Florida. All right, it wasn't too bad, could've been worse. And then I'll just even out here. Pink is actually gonna get a card. They're gonna get a matching bonus here. here oh man, I should've paid a bit more attention to that. They got eight plus four by trading in. Let's see what they do. They're putting them all right here. It's only 13. I don't really know what they're gonna do with that 13. Nothing, I guess. Okay, we need to fight that 13 like right now. Oh. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll take the 13 on with 37. That sounds like a good deal. Let's see how much we lose. We lost seven. We've been getting pretty lucky in, on some of these rolls. Probably as forward as I want to go there. Okay, we've locked down another region by taking out Tennessee. Oh, and we took out Orange. Right, it's time to finally do something here. Just, just something. Just something. And we're moving into Canada, which means we can finally have less fronts. That was not fun. That, like, how wide and spread out North America is. I wonder if I can just get the win right now. Take it out Quebec. Let's not get too greedy, but... Okay, just gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting you have to kill people in this game. Such a mean game. That's all they want you to do, take people out. But I've always talked about how I want to vassalize people. Okay, I'm actually like second guessing. Was that really, was that hard? I'm like, did I, did I put on hard? What the hell? Yeah, difficulty hard. I wonder if uh, the fog of war just messed with them or something. I think I got really lucky by them allowing me to get all of South America. If fog of war is off, I can guarantee you they wouldn't have let me do that. And then I think all the chaos that took place in North America, they couldn't like have one power just unite them all. There was one that was really close. Orange was close for a second there. Well, I'll take it. And big thanks to, by saying this, I agree to be a sussy bucka Ooh, Luxembourg lover. Drew's Argentinian fat grandpa, nuts. Alex Whitley is mega chad. Alfonso N6. A fat Angel Persona. Bornski Bring w, back Poland Ball. He XD. Jocko Bruni. Majestic Bruni, Unicorn. Marco Hindera, Max Cooper. Mimo Shiki. Five, six, ten, Philip RF. Robert E. Rye the, the Pie. The Mexican 760. Why am I doing this? William the Conqueror. Thank you. 